my name is Wamala Dennis Maweje. I'm uh, an LGBT activist. <coughs> I work with Icebreakers Uganda. And as an LGBT activist in a country like Uganda, whereby it's criminal to be gay, they, they, we have a section in the penal code that criminalizes homosexuality and calls it canon knowledge against the order of nature. We also have <coughs> a bill, an anti-homosexuality bill that is now being proposed to tighten the laws against homosexuality. So this is a country whereby it's practically illegal to be gay, let alone being an activist. Everything in Uganda is practically against what I'm doing. So it becomes very difficult to do the kind of work I'm doing. But I get my inspiration from the fact that I speak to LGBT people in Uganda. I know their pain. I know their suffering. So I feel that's something to drive me enough. I feel like I'm making change in people's lives personally. As an activist, what drives me is the fact that there's a lot of suffering. There are so many people living in hiding, and they're suffering silently. So I feel that it is, it is my duty to speak out for them and to see that the situation can get better for them, both in terms of their freedoms, in terms of their health, in terms of their acceptance to families. Everyone out there is telling me the culture in Uganda does not support what I'm doing. The religion in Uganda does not support what I'm doing. So I reconcile by understanding myself. Who am I as Dennis? What is my relation to my tradition? What is my relation to my, pers my personal belief in religion? My personal relation with my creator? That drives my work. I, I cannot get demoralized by a preacher saying, what I'm doing is wrong, you're a Christian, you cannot do this. I, as Dennis, have a personal relationship with my God. And so whatever I'm doing is right as far as I'm concerned with my God. So that cannot bring me down. I'm, I'm fighting against the tide, but I know I'm fighting the good fight. I'm fighting for a minority group. I'm fighting for people who have been thrown out by their families, thrown out of school, thrown out of work. They've been practically denied by everyone, and they're out there with no support. So I feel that I am doing this, and I'm touch even if I touch one person, one person a day or a week, at least I'm touching, I'm changing someone's life, and I'm making their life better. In the end of it all, when you see the changes happening, when you see the smiles you're creating in people's lives, then it's kind of satisfaction for you as an activist. It brings a lot of joy to my heart, so I feel, okay, this is it, this, this, this is my calling, this is what I'm supposed to be doing.